How's it going on? So I'm back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you something different and it's really based on Cinema 4D renders, not a Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, if you're seeing more render here, it's one of my previous videos, if you're seeing this, uh, the one I created my on my own studio. And what we're going to be doing today is that if you're the one not using GPU just like me for physical renders, uh, I also do not use GPU instead, I just use my CPU and a integrated GPU which does not provide me with a really high and good quality renders. You can see we're having a pretty good amount of noise. Not pretty good but we're having a pretty amount of noise here that is unneeded and unnecessary. So I'm going to be showing you a method which is known as mean stacking method inside of Photoshop. Using that method you can come up with really less compare, uh, noise compared to this. The more, the only thing that you need to do is to create renders of a particular thing many times. Like this one, it's a, it's a really look like a shit, but for our renders, it looks pretty great out here. So what I'm talking about, I'm having a similar frame rendered up to ten times. You can see we're having ten frames: one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And all these ten frames are going to be used as a single picture and going to be mean stacked inside of Photoshop or any sort of photo editor that you have. So let's simply just go in Photoshop and do everything else out there. Okay, now we're inside of Photoshop and the first thing that you want to do here is to import our files. So how you can do that is to go to file, go to scripts, go to image or maybe go to fo load file into stack, click over to that and those all files of mine are exported over to desktop named like uh, less noise and these are all those 10 files and what I'm gonna be doing is that go and select files browse and add those all into this let's go to desktop and let's go ahead and select all of these make sure that are numbered proper pretty well so now we have it and they are in TIFF format about 8 uh, bits per channel and let's wait for Photoshop on a while so that load all file into stack according to their name you can see we get our first one and there it goes a lot loading all those 10 files into a stack now this stack generally goes in a mean stacking method and it is completely divided and divisible upon two things now if I just enable thing like go into my sketchpad and screen sketching just for you to show up what you guys goes out like we have our um, maybe the thing goes like we have all these going down like that and those are all the sequences and and now we have these sequences going down and we're gonna be varying with the opacity and this opacity is the one that we're gonna be using and we're gonna be editing it so how it really goes off is that okay, we're gonna be using something like this and it goes like 100 divided by 2 which gives us 50 and in the similar manner the first thing or the first layer all beneath one would be 100 and the second one goes like 50 and another one would be 100 divided by 3 which would give us 33 or a approximate value now similarly we're going to be naming and changing the uh, opacity of these layer according to this so if i go down and uh, just take it down to way down here and take the opacity to be 100 percent and if i disable all these layers so we're gonna go up with the second one so according to the mean stacking method we're gonna be using it enabling it and making the opacity around 50 percent now we're gonna be enabling the third one why need we need uh, all of these different renders is the reason because we, we're, we're gonna be getting different amount of noises different pattern of noises on every single different render so the third one goes like 33 percent and the fourth one would be 25 percent of the all opacity the fifth one would be like 20% of the opacity. The sixth one would be 17%. The seventh one would be 14%. Or yes, 14%. Now remains the third. The thing about this one is it is a bit of like uh, um, sketchy or you can say. So what it goes like is that we have 100 divided by 8 the reason for 100 divided by 8 is a bit different we can get like 12.5 which should be kept as a mean value of 13 but for maintaining a smooth flow of the following situation we're going to be removing this file and going to be keeping the 12 so we can follow along and make this 12 percent the last second last one would be around 11 percentage and the last one would be 7 percent 
so all of this now you can literally see the result yourself so if I just group all these and if I just zoom into a corner now you can see we're having some anti-aliasing problem but that doesn't really matter so I can I via name the noise so if you enable the noise you can already see we're having a pretty decent amount of or the pretty pretty much amount of noise here that we literally don't need in our renders so if i enable that means stacking you can see all that noise vanishes away and we have a pretty smooth render of ours but it isn't that uh, like the one which you could come up with a gpu but it really provides some pretty good quality renders and pretty uh, provides with you some really nice and smooth uh, sort of reflection so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure that you like and subscribe for more and also also you can hit the subscribe button. that's gonna help me a lot and this sort of mean stacking method is followed all over and you can always use an all sort of renders of yours just make sure that you're rendering a particular frame many times as many as renders you have the more more quality you would get now don't always try to make this like overlay this isn't gonna work this is gonna change the colors either so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to sourcing art from frosty tech signing out Thank you.